Okay, so I'm going to show you how to respond to um, OSC messages that are coming to processing and also you, you can also send OSC messages. So OSC is kind of like MIDI. If you haven't seen the MIDI videos, you should take a look at those because this library kind of works the same way. But uh, basically MIDI messages are really concerned with music. They're about notes and velocity and things like that. But a, um, an OSC message might look something like this, um, button A. A message might come and that just means, you know, a message looking like this might come and that might mean that button A was pressed. Or it might come in looking like this, accelerometer, um, the x-axis uh, returned a value of 0.97. So uh, basically it usually comes in in the form of a message with a value or it could be several values. Um, so it could have, an, you know, it's very extensible. It could be any type of message that comes in. So what we'll see is that there's a program called uh, Osculator, which uh, will help us deal with those messages. And we can also use this to translate messages and redirect them. It's, it's worth buying, but it's also uh, something that you can just get a, a, a free demo um, that lasts for a while. So uh, just to show you what... Uh, processing sketch looks like that handles OSC messages. We can go to import library. I've already installed OSC P5, which is the library we need, and this is what it looks like. We basically create an OSC object, and uh, in our setup, in this case, I'll actually set up this object. And OSC messages come in on a certain port. I'm just choosing 12,000 because why not? It could be a different port. It could be port 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, but this is basically, uh, we could have lots of different things using OSC on the same computer and they um, could go to different ports. So I'm saying that this particular program I'm writing is going to listen on this port number. So anytime a message gets sent to 12,000, port 12,000, it'll be picked up by this program. So this works the same as the MIDI libraries that I showed you where uh, you set up a plug. And basically, um, I'm going to say anytime a message comes in that looks like this, button A, um, it should call this method called test, or I'll call it handle button. Um, so that's really, that's how we handle this. So uh, I'll leave it draw empty for now, but I can say any time handle button A is called. I would have to know a little bit more about the message uh, that's coming in. I sh let's say that I know any time a, a button A message comes in, it either looks like this or it looks like this, meaning someone let go of button A or someone pressed button A. It could also look like this, temperature uh, in Fahrenheit, 98.6. You know, there's really, these messages can look like anything. Uh, it depends where they come from. So um, let's say that I know anytime button A comes in, it's going to have either a zero or a one after it. And the reason why I care is because uh, I have to give it an argument of one number. If it was back at that temperature example, this would be a float and it would be a variable called temp. So I just basically make up whatever this uh, function is to handle the, um, the appropriate parameters that come over with the OSC message. So in this case, I would maybe just print uh, someone pressed button A. So um, that's really it. That's how you can handle an OSC message coming in. It's This is like the, the most basic example you can get. Uh, and in the next video, I'll show you a continuation of this that uses the Wiimote instead of this made-up message that's coming in.